Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I want to show you the TAL Noisemaker Synth in Reaper. Now, if we go to the Reaper video homepage, we can see down here I've already covered many free virtual instrument plugins that work with Reaper. There's a few synths down here that I covered in other videos. So you're probably wondering, why am I covering another synth? Well, the main reason is that the Noisemaker synth is one of the simplest virtual instrument plugins you could use. So it's very educational for learning how to program and create your own synth presets. So I thought it was important that I covered this one as well. If you want to learn how to create your own synths, this is a great plugin to start. And just like with the others, it's completely free. So if we go to the TAL Noisemaker website, it looks like this. And then it will require signing up or giving out your email. You can just go over here and download the version you need, whether it be Windows, Mac, or Linux. So download the software, install it, and reopen Reaper. And I have a blank project already set up with the virtual keyboard down here. So you can see what I play. Let's create a new track. I'll name it Synth. I'll put it into Record and set the input for MIDI, all MIDI inputs. So now if I play my virtual instrument keyboard, which is basically my computer keyboard, we see MIDI. So now I'll put the plugin on this track. Go to Track Effects, and we'll search in the filter TAL. And the plugin shows up right here. Double click it, and it looks like this. And recently, they redesigned the interface, making it a bit more friendly. So if you still have the older version, make sure you upgrade. So like I said, it's a very simple synth. We can go through the presets over here. It comes with a bunch, like effects. Drums, keyboards, bass, pads, lead, arpeggios, and even chords. But we're not going to go through all the presets in this video. Obviously, you could do that on your own. And it's a great exercise to go through them so you can see how they're created. But in this video, I want to start from the bottom up, creating our own synth. Just so you can get an idea from the ground floor how this works, and therefore how most synths work. So let's put it back to the default. Let's take a look at the master. We could see there's oscillator one and two which refers to oscillator one and two over here. Then we have a sub over here. Let's turn this one off. And if we play it now, we're just hearing the sub. Let's turn it off for now. And let's start off with oscillator one. Double click it to bring it up to full volume. And we can see it right here. There's tuning, fine tuning, phase, pulse wave, and the wave we choose. It defaults to a sawtooth, which sounds like this. We adjust the tuning right here. The fine tuning, and also change the wave. Instead of a sawtooth, we could do a square, which can be adjusted with the pulse wave setting. And we also have a noise wave. Let's put it back to the sawtooth to keep it simple. Let's put the tuning back to zero. Let's check out oscillator two. Let's bring this one down and this one up. It sounds the same, but there's a few different variables. Instead of pulse wave, 
we could add an FM synth. to make it sound thicker. Or a square wave. Or a triangle wave. A sine wave. And again, a noise wave. Let's put this back to so wave and blend the two. We could fine tune one of them to make it sound thicker. Or we could bring down the overall tuning by a lower octave to make it sound like this. And blend the octave like this. And we could bring in the sub for some low end information. Bring it down a bit. We could also introduce, bring the sub down, the FM synth to blend in with this one. Let's put it back to the saw wave to keep it simple. We can still fine tune this one. To create a thicker sound. Or we could bring in the chorus. One or two. Or both. But I'm going to leave those off. Now we can get into the filter. Let's keep it on the default and bring down the cutoff and bring up the resonance or the spittiness of the synth. And to give the filter more movement, we could use the LFOs. There's two of them to choose from. Let's use the first one and set it to our filter. But note, we could also set it to the volume of our oscillators, adjust the pulse wave or the FM, but I'm gonna use the filter. So now we bring up the amount. It changes the filter over time based on the rate right here. We could also change the wave from a sine wave to a square. To create a stuttering effect. Or random. Let's keep it simple and put it back to the sine wave. Just create some motion for our filter. And we could also change the amp, which is the attack, decay, sustain, and release of the sound. So if we bring up the attack, basically slowing it down, it fades in the sound creating a more legato effect. Or more staccato if we make it faster. Or we could bring down the sustain, bring up the decay, and create a very short note. Let's put it back to full sustain. Now, if we don't want our filter 
to be adjusted with the LFO. Let's turn it off. We can readjust it here in the graph. Switch this to filter, add the amount, and create a graph to adjust the filter. Make it faster. Bring up the amount. Let's make this a bit faster as well. Let's add more points. Let's add another point right here. Make this faster. So we can create a custom adjustment to our filter. And to make this more spacious, let's add some reverb and delay. Make the size bigger. Let's add some delay. Sync it to our tempo. And just the time, let's put it at eighth notes. Bring up the feedback. And then finally, we could add some portamento to the sound. Let's turn it on right here, bring it up. Just to create a smooth transition from each note to another. Obviously, we don't have time to go through everything, but I think we covered most of the main features to play around with. Like I said, Check out some of the presets to see how they were created, or start from the beginning like we just did here, to create your own favorite synths, and possibly learn more about creating your own. So that's pretty much it. That's the TAL Noisemaker Synth in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.